Alibaba Group, according to the company story, was founded in 1999 by 18 people under the leadership of Jack Ma, a former English teacher from Hangzhou, China. From the very beginning, the company's founders shared the belief that the internet would create a level playing field by enabling small businesses to use innovation and technology to grow. Now, Alibaba Group Holding Limited, also known as Alibaba Group and Alibaba.com, is a Chinese multinational technology company that focuses on e-commerce, retail, technology, and the internet. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. In December 1999, at the end of the dot-com trend, Jack Malata group of 18 people to start an online wholesale market called Alibaba. Though it was founded in a small apartment in Hangzhou, the Chinese company has grown into one of the most diverse and valued companies in the world. Today, Alibaba competes globally with its more ubiquitous U.S. counterparts like Google, Amazon, PayPal, and eBay, and in some cases outperforms them. Alibaba has ventured into and dominated the e-commerce and payment systems, cloud services, and artificial intelligence. Since they entered the Indian investment market in 2014, Alibaba has invested nearly $1.7 billion in Indian startups over the years, from Big Basket and Zomato to Paytm, Expressbees, etc. Jack Ma visited the United States in the 1990s and set out to introduce the Internet there. After some years, he decided to gamble on technology's potential and founded Alibaba Group. This was after receiving $5 million from a group of investors with 17 co-founders. Fortunately, Alibaba's online retail platforms, Alibaba.com, B2B, and 1688.com, B2C, were strategically scheduled to launch. This was because the consumer internet boom had just hit China, and the local market wasn't as badly hit by the dot-com crash as its American counterpart. The 21st century started with good results for Alibaba, raising $20 million from a group of investors led by SoftBank. Subsequently, the company's growth accelerated. One year after Alibaba became cash positive, he founded Taobao.com. It was designed as a consumer-to-consumer -consumer marketplace to do for China what eBay had done abroad. The company received another round of funding to the tune of $82 million. This was quickly followed by the launch of the Alawangwang, an instant messaging platform and third-party online payment platform, Alipay. With time, these three companies developed into the iron triangle of e-commerce, logistics, and finance on which today's Alibaba Group is built. Like the other members of the acclaimed Chinese bat group, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, Alibaba benefited greatly from its home country's strict internet control guidelines. While the Chinese government sought to build a business ecosystem similar to that of the United States, it was cautious when foreign companies entered the market at the expense of local businesses. With regards to this, China installed a massive internet filtering and censorship engine called the Great Firewall. This engine dealt devastating blows to the Chinese dealings of tech giants like Google, Yahoo, and eBay. This firewall enabled companies like Alibaba and Tencent keep a tight grip on the rapidly growing population in China via the Internet. Encouraged by China's pro-local policies, Alibaba got into a strategic partnership with Yahoo in 2005 and then took over its activities in China. Over the next three years, Alibaba founded the three most successful companies, Taobao University an online e-commerce education program, Alimama, an online marketing platform, and Tmall, an online marketplace for third-party branded products. After setting up a research and development department to drive internal innovation, the company celebrated its 10th anniversary in 2009, with the establishment of Alibaba Cloud and the acquisition of China's leading IP provider, Hi China. This was followed by the takeover of the logistics companies Vendio, Octiva, and OneTouch, and the launch of Zhuhuazhuan a marketplace for group purchases, AliExpress a global marketplace for Chinese exporters, and Dianyanchong a mobile social media app. Since 2013, Alibaba has been one of the most productive investors in the world with a diverse portfolio including companies from Asia to America and all around. The complete takeover of the Chinese web browser, 
UC Browser, and the acquisition of a 60% stake in the Chinese film company China Vision Media, now Alibaba Pictures Group, involved major investments in Lyft, Tango, Hire, Singapore Post, and Momo. In 2013, Ma resigned as CEO of Alibaba. He was succeeded by Jonathan Liu, whom Ma selected himself. In September 2014, the company made international headlines with a whopping $25 billion initial public offering, with a market value of $231 billion. This was the largest U.S. initial public offering in history. And, it made Alibaba the 23rd most valued company in the Standard and Poor Index. This position placed Alibaba ahead of other e-commerce giants like Amazon at $150,000 and eBay which was valued at $65 billion. After Alibaba had invested a total of $2.7 billion, the company went on to spend $12.9 billion in 2015. SoftBank Robotics, DD Chuxing, SnapDeal, 197 Communications, Snap Incorporated, and Lyft were among the top benefactors of Alibaba's investments. In 2016, Alibaba became well known as the world's largest and most valued retailer after its revenue surpassed those recorded by American giants like Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. In the same year, it also outdid Amazon, Google, and Microsoft in public cloud sales growth. Now, the Alibaba Group had companies in the fields of movie production, microblogging, travel booking, music and video streaming, online learning, mobile apps, online maps, and more. Later in 2016, Alibaba was embroiled in a scandal for being linked to trading in fraudulent and illegal products. The US government dubbed Taba a platform for selling counterfeit goods. Due to the IPO and the steadily increasing turnover, Alibaba spent 10 billion US dollars and 11 billion US dollars in 2016 and 2017 respectively on investments in the chauffeur-driven car service provider UCAR, DD Chuxing ride-sharing service, Indian Mobile Communications Company, 197 Communications, Food Ordering C2C, ELE.me, online e-commerce company Lazada Group, and Chinese hypermarket, Giant Sun Art Retail Group forming the majority of the investments with over 1 billion US dollar each. Because of its remarkable research division, Ali Research Alibaba was ahead in the artificial intelligence revolution, using machine learning to drive sales, marketing, and customer service during its annual global shopping festival. It also worked with Starbucks in Shanghai to establish an augmented reality experience in the largest coffee chain store in the world. Alibaba made history in January 2018, when it became the second Asian company to exceed the $500 billion valuation mark, when its market value reached $527 billion. The first company was Tencent. In 2018, the company recovered from allegations of scandal, with Taba and Tmall each exceeding 500 million monthly active users. By 2019, Ma kept his promise to leave Alibaba. Daniel Zhang succeeded him as the current CEO of the Alibaba Group. The company has also been instrumental in shaping and strengthening the Chinese business ecosystem and has launched several projects to improve the rural areas of China. In 2010, Alibaba stated that it would contribute 0.3% of its annual earning to environmental awareness and conservation efforts around the world. This summed up to a $47.1 million donation in 2016. They have also come up with an independently funded group called the Alibaba Foundation to handle social issues. Although Jack Ma is no longer at the helm of affairs, Alibaba is still one of the world's largest online commerce marketplaces and isn't showing any signs of exiting that position. That exceeds the founder's vision of an e-commerce platform for the Chinese populace, and then some, in just 20 years in business. What do you think about Alibaba Group's company story? Also, what do you think about Alibaba's entrepreneurial journey so far? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.